Today we are going to show you our favourite way to cook pork belly. The secret is the slow cooker. <laughs> now we have tried lots of ways and we used to kind of stick with roast, just roasting the pork belly in the oven because you know we always want the crispy crackling. But sometimes the meat underneath can be Overcooked. like a little bit chewy or dry. Not with this method. So we're going to cook the pork belly in the slow cooker first and then put it in the oven at the end to get the crispy crackling so you get the best of both worlds. <laughs> it's really, really delicious. It is honestly our favorite way to have pork belly now. We don't do it any other way. Yeah, and it's pretty easy. So what we're gonna do is we've just got some garlic cloves here. I'm just gonna like smash them a little bit. It's just to kind of flavor the liquid that the pork belly's in. You're not gonna eat these or anything. So we're just gonna pop those in the bottom of our slow cooker. And then we've got about a cup of bone broth here. So we're just going to pour that into the bottom of the slow cooker as well. Now you can make your own bone broth or there's lots of really good bone broths available for sale now. Yeah, you can get it pretty easily. So we've got our piece of pork belly here. So this piece is about one kilo. There's no bone in it. Um, and then we've had the skin scored which will make it better at the end it's a good idea if you can get your butcher or whoever to score it because it's a bit difficult to do unless you have like a really sharp knife <laughs> but i'm just going to flip it over and we're going to really season well the like meat side with salt and pepper and then what we're going to do is pop it into our slow cooker and when we put it in the slow cooker, we want to have the skin side up. So out of the liquid that you just yeah. put in there. So depending on, I guess, the shape of your piece of pork belly and how big your slow cooker is, you might need to kind of adjust a little bit. But you don't want it to be kind of fully submerged. You just want the liquid to come maybe um, three, like, you know, three quarters of the way up to the meat. The meat. But so that the skin is still exposed, otherwise it could get like really soggy. So that's how you want it. So we're just going to pop that in the slow cooker on the low setting for four hours until the meat is like just really tender and falling apart. Then we're going to take it out and roast it in the oven to get the, the crackling, crispy. the best bit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> We have our pork belly out of the slow cooker. That was actually more five. like five hours because this piece was actually a bit thick. So we wanted to make sure the meat was really tender. Um, now this is probably the most tricky part. The trickiest part, part getting <laughs> it out of the slow cooker. It's, it's amazing how much smaller it is as well. I don't know if you noticed then. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Looks like you've got it. <laughs> Nailed it. Okay, so we've got our pork belly what we're gonna do is just get some paper towel and like it's not this is actually pretty dry but you just want the top of it not to be wet at all because we want that skin to crisp up and then we're just going to really season it generously and we've got the oven on at about 200 degrees was it it's 400 200 Celsius, 400 Fahrenheit. Yeah, I think it's 390, something like that. <laughs> so that is now ready to go in the oven. And it's about 45 minutes to an hour until the skin is delicious, crispy, crackling. You do want to keep an eye on it because it can burn as well. Yeah, so just watch it, just yeah. check it every 10-15 um, minutes and see how it's going. Yeah. Um, that's what we would normally do and then when it looks ready and it's kind of cracky, then it's ready to go. Also, it smells really good in here and I'm really looking forward to eating this. This is dinner. <laughs> it's out of the oven, it was probably about 40 minutes I reckon. Yeah, and then we've let it rest for a little while as well. Listen to that guys. There's good crackling on there for sure. Let's see if I can manage this. Okay, have a look. Let's see how tender it is. Bear in mind our knives not very sharp. <laughs> oh, it looks good. Yeah, look at yeah, that. Perfect. Yum. Looks delicious in there. 
all juicy and then you get the crispy crackling on the top it looks amazing and that is our dinner for tonight so <laughs> i'm really looking forward to it yeah we're really our probably favorite way of having pork belly is just with some kimchi on the side it's yeah. a really yummy meal and it's honestly probably one of the most filling meals that yeah, I can because eat. of all the fat on the pork belly yeah but you can really pair it with any of your favorite keto sides cauliflower mash yeah steamed broccoli um I mean, cauliflower probably, bake yeah I anything. actually saw someone having it with avocado i'd never oh. thought of having that before we usually don't have it with too rich of a side because it's yes. very rich itself so it's nice to have it with some steamed greens or sauerkraut or kimchi because that just nice, freshens but, it up a little bit yeah too. yeah but definitely give this a go it's certainly our favorite way to cook pork belly so you end up with tender meat and then nice crispy crackling let us know what your favorite side to serve with it is um thanks so much for watching guys see you next time bye, bye.